Joined by head coach James Franklin to preview the Big Ten opener at Rutgers. Coach, when you look back at the film from the Akron game, what stood out? I think the biggest thing was was our effort. Um, I thought I thought we played really hard, especially on defense. Flew around, made some plays. Um, I thought we adjusted well. They started out doing some things with us. And we calmed down and made some adjustments, and we're good from that point on. Um, special teams have been very pleased, especially with Gula and what we've been able to do there. Would love to get our return game a little bit more involved. And then on offense, you know, we're finding ways to win games. It's not always exactly the way we'd like it to look, um, but we're able to get some points on the board. We got to protect the ball more. Your defense has been so good against the run during the first two weeks. What's important about being strong up front? Why, why is it so important for the guys? Start, you know, in the front four to be good. Well, you you want to make them one dimensional. <clears throat> so being able to eliminate the running game, we typically have a size advantage. We typically have a depth advantage. At least we have so far this season. Um, you know, and we've talked about that all off season. Those guys are doing a great job of getting pressure on the quarterback. Maybe not always sacks, but the hits are very important as well. Um, and they've been really disruptive in the run. And I think that's also helped our linebackers. Maybe not specifically Mike Hull, but our youth at the other positions, I think having a strong defensive line in front of them has been helpful. Uh, and Mike as well. Christian Hackenberg talked a lot after the game about how well he feels like the receivers tight ends have been playing. It was a young group coming into the area, obviously tight ends veteran, but what have you seen from that group that has impressed you with the, the receivers? Well, I think Josh Gaddis has done a great job. They've all worked really hard. Uh, Gino's really doing some nice things, um, as well as Ham, both those guys, making plays. They've been really consistent. We've been able to work the young guys in and help them mature over time. Um, having a presence at tight end, I think Jesse's done a really nice job for us with two touchdowns last Last week, we'd like to get Kyle and some of those other guys more involved as well. So we just got to keep growing there. Um, I think you know you, you saw you saw uh, Jesse's last touchdown was a big part because we had established a running game. They loaded the box to stop the run, and now Jesse's nude. So those things are going to be very important. Shifting gears into Rutgers, when you look at Rutgers' offense on film, obviously very familiar with Ralph. What do you see from Gary Nova in that offense? Well, I think they're playing with confidence right now. They're executing really well. They're not doing a lot, but what they're doing, they're doing well. Um, you know, they got a veteran offense. They got a veteran offensive line. Uh, they got some big backs. Their back was leading the country last year before he got injured. Um, and they got an experienced quarterback. He's had an up and down career, um, but right now he's playing with a lot of confidence. I think Ralph's calling the game in a way to play to his strengths. Um, and it's been very, very successful. So I've been, I've been very impressed with them as a whole. How about the defense? Base 4-3, but what do you see? It's, it's, the, it's the same Rutgers you've seen for the last 10 years. Uh, disruptive, aggressive. Um, they're committed like we are to stopping the run and making you one-dimensional. Um, you know, they're a rugged, hard-nosed, tough blue-collar team that runs around well. Um, and they're experienced. You know, they've been playing together for a long time and, and with, for the most part, the coaching staff. Good news on Monday, but how do you keep the guys focused to know that it's one game this week, you want to be 1-0 each week? How does the team respond to that mindset? Rutgers, 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 Rutgers. We're appreciative of the opportunities. It's amazing how many people have sent me messages saying you're bowl eligible. We're not bowl eligible. We have the opportunity to go to a bowl. So we got to take care of Rutgers and focus on that. But I understand everybody's excitement and there's nobody more appreciative than the guys in our program as well. Um, but we got to focus on Rutgers. Rutgers, Rutgers, Rutgers. Keys to the Rutgers game. What do you need to do well? Right, once again, we got to protect the ball. We were able to clean up the penalties, did a good job there. We're going to have to protect the football on offense. Um, got to establish some sort of a running game. Uh, defensively, we have to continue to make them one dimensional. Um, and special teams, we need a momentum play. We need a, a block punt. We need a big return or something like that. I think that's going to be important. But it's going to be like a lot of games around here. It's going to be a, it's going to be a team emphasis. We've got to play well in all three phases. It's not going to be because of one side of the ball or the other. Finally, it's an 8 o'clock kick. How do you keep the guys busy during the course of a game day on the road? Well, we're allowed, we'll be, you know, they'll be allowed to sleep in a little bit longer. Um, we'll have two meals instead of one. Um, and then we'll do some walkthroughs and meetings in the morning as well. But you know, that's part of college football. Um, you know, it'll be a great environment. We're excited for it. Coach, good luck on Saturday. Thank you.